Denison Memorial in New Bedford, South End has been a safe haven for young people for many decades. It's 150 years old this year. And to honor that history, the agency holds the Denison Founders Awards Dinner, second annual dinner, where awards are presented to women who provided leadership in this community. This year's event is November 10th at Rachel's Lake Cider, Dartmouth, Westport Line. And here to talk about the agency and this year's dinner are Lisa Stratton, a board member at Denison, and uh, a soon-to-be Founders Award recipient, Danielle Lopez. Great to see you both. Thank Great you. Great to be here. Well, uh, Lisa, let's start a bit with uh, talking just a little bit about the history of Denison. Um, it started, and women played a big role in the start of this agency, didn't they? They did. And um, as a matter of fact, the, the men who head up Denison today weren't really aware of this last year when we had our first Denison Founders Award dinner. Um, it, had, it came about uh, through a series of events. I was researching and found out that four women, 150 years ago this year, founded Denison. Uh, it was founded as the Women's Mission Society, New Bedford Women's Mission Society, I think. And um, that entity became Denison Memorial. And, um, and it was then named for a man, um, which as a woman is uh, <laughs> an interesting turn of events. It, it suited the, the times, I suppose. But um, w- myself and the board chair, Elizabeth Duffy, decided that um, we wanted to do something that celebrated those founders, that celebrated women leaders in New Bedford. And certainly more so than in years past, women are recognized in New Bedford. But I'd still argue not to the extent that that men are. And um, so this was an effort to continue the the fine work of those founders and in helping the poor and um, and children in New Bedford and and honor some women who are leaders today. And Danielle is among among those who was uh, a Denison member and is now uh, a tremendous leader. Thank you. Um, so this work is continuing today, 150 years later. Uh, uh, Denison uh, serves youngsters from all over the city of New Bedford, and it is... Uh, a place for, yes, play and recreation. It's also a place for education and um, a place, a safe haven, I guess, is the best way I can describe it. Uh, And certainly uh, that work continues today with dozens of youngsters uh, there. Uh, Lisa, can you give us some Sure. So right now we have about 520 members. Uh, A couple of years ago, we waived the very small fee um, that that had been in place for members. Uh, So now it doesn't cost anyone, any member, anything to come to Denison. There's about 520 members. On any given day, maybe 150 or so children in the center, but um, but 520 in total. Some don't come every day, that sort of thing. Daniel Lopez is with us as well. Uh, Daniel, what's your history with Denison? Tell us about, uh, now listen, that, there's a, many years ago when you started there. I <laughs> hope you can recall. All <laughs> Not that, but... many years ago. It was <laughs> a, about, I want to say, 10 maybe, a little bit more than that. Yeah. Oh, excuse me. Well, wow, I'm, I'm aging myself. I'm only 24, but <laughs> I started going when I was eight years old. I actually lived right behind Denison Memorial, so it was really good access. Um, but it it has held true to what it started for, and and it has held true since I've been gone mm-hmm. these last couple of years. Um, when I started going, I was only eight, like I said. Um, but my initial reason for going ended up changing as I stood longer. When I first went, I just wanted to hang out with my friends. It was a good place to go when my mom said, you can't have anyone here in my house when I'm not home because I'm working. So I went to Denison to meet with all my friends. But when I started going more often, there was a room upstairs where they helped you with your homework. And I always went to the homework room because there was prizes if you went every day. They would give you like a dessert. Like a lot of times they made dirt pudding, which is pudding with some (laughs) Oreos on top with a worm on it. I was like, I want that. So I'm doing my homework there. And once they enticed you to start going to that room upstairs and doing your homework, they also started doing sewing after you finish your homework. So I learned to sew upstairs with Miss Debbie. 
me and my sister would go together. So it was really a good a good time to learn and to be with your friends and to make sure that you weren't, if you couldn't be home with friends, you at least had somewhere safe to go, somewhere warm, and somewhere where people actually cared for your well-being. Danielle is a graduate of New Bedford High School. She's also graduated recently from Bridgewater State University, and she has been awarded a Fulbright Teaching Assistantship. Yes, that is correct. Thank you very much. And you're going to have a change in address soon, right? Yes, a very large change in address. <laughs> it's going to take over 15 hours to get there. I'm, uh, by plane, I'm going to be going to Malaysia. It's a country um, in southeastern Asia. Mm-hmm. And that is going to be an interesting experience. I bet you can't wait to have it happen. Absolutely. I can't wait. I'm really excited. I spoke with someone yesterday, actually, who's going to be going with me as well. Um, her name's Bay. But when I go, I will be in a Muslim majority, which is very different from our area. We have a really large Catholic population. So it will be good to understand a, not only a culture different from my own, but also a religion different from my own. It really to grow and make me a more well-rounded individual. And uh, Denison gave you a, a bit of a foundation. Public schools gave you a foundation. New Bedford High School Absolutely. gave you a foundation, which is wonderful. And Bridgewater went under Bridgewater, and then the uh, Fulbright uh, teaching assistantship. Um, and you are being honored on November 10th as well. You're, I am. You're very a, excited. an alum of Denison, and yes. you are someone who uh, will be honored on the 12th as a uh, young woman um, and receiving a Founders Award. That's great. Um, what was your reaction to all that? I was actually quite surprised. Sometimes you go out in the world, and I, I hope anyone that's doing great things does great things just to do them, not for the recogni- recognition. Um, when Mr. H first called upon me, I was surprised because I didn't think anyone was paying attention anymore. Like you I mean was Sean Hargraves, right? Sean Hargraves, <laughs> yes. It's, ca- it's hard Mr. to go. Mr. It's, H. He's always Mr. H. He's been <laughs> in Mr. H since I was eight, and it's not changing. That's who he is. Okay. But yes. Great. That's great. <laughs> um, I was really surprised because, again, like I said, you, th- you think people aren't paying attention. I, I hope for myself that I'm doing great things, as I mentioned, um, but it was out of this world to understand that what I'm doing is great and other people are also recognizing that. So it's really a, a well, beautiful that's a, thing. It's a wonderful thing for you. Congratulations once again. Um, and um, the honor is a, a great one, but uh, you are giving back, giving back to the world here. That's a wonderful thing. It's the most important thing. That, that is. Uh, yes, it is the most important thing. Um, and hopefully we can all understand each other a little better because of the work you're doing. That'll be a wonderful, Absolutely. wonderful gift. You're listening to Town Square Sunday. My guests are Lisa Stratton, who is a board member at Denison Memorial, and uh, Daniel Lopez, as you just heard, an alum of Denison Mor- Memorial, and uh, recently been awarded a Fulbright teaching assistantship, and she'll be in Malaysia in 2019. So, Lisa, let's talk uh, the Founders Dinner besides uh, Danielle. And this Founders Dinner is November 10th at Rachel's Lake Cider at the Westport Dartmouth Line. Correct. Um, So let's talk the dinner. Besides uh, Danielle, who are we honoring that night? So um, what we've done is we established a a community member who didn't necessarily attend Denison. Uh, there's an award for that. There's the, the Denison alum and then a current Denison member. So our community member who we are honoring is Dr. Jean McCormick. Uh, Dr. McCormick has been a huge supporter of Denison. Uh, both she, she is on the board. Uh, so both in terms of ideas and, and support in the community and as well as financially, Uh, We are honoring uh, Dr. McCormick, who, as you know, was chancellor of UMass Dartmouth for many years and most recently just retired, I think, January maybe, from uh, as executive director of the Edward M. Kennedy Institute for the Senate. I think I have that title correct. Pretty wordy title. (laughs) Right. But she's a formidable woman uh, dedicated to education and educational advancement in our community, and she's had a profound impact on New Bedford and Fall River, this entire region. And for those reasons, we are are honoring her. And then as well, we have 
two members that we're honoring this year, sort of in the spirit of the the Women's Mission Society that helped all children. We have one uh, young lady who is being honored and one young man, both with terrific stories. Um, the young lady is named Juliana, and she and her sisters and her younger brother have attended uh, Denison. And then um, a young man named, affectionately known as Berto, I think his full name is R- Ruberto, um, or Ruperto, but but we call him Berto at Denison. Um, and terrific, terrific story. Straight A student um, has had some difficulties uh, throughout his childhood um, on a personal level, but has risen above them and. Um, uh, you know, it's just an outstanding example and mentor for the other kids at, at Denison. So we're really excited to um, kind of present these these children and all of all of the honorees um, to the community, let people know the great things that are happening um, at Denison and then beyond Denison. Um, and, and many, many of the people in our community who attended Denison, Return and and talk to Mr. H. Everybody call. I've been there. They all call him Mr. H. Even if they're forty years old, they mm-hmm. they still talk about Mr. H. Yes. Um, and I, I was there the other day with Danielle, and she was running down the hall, hugging. Um, was it Mrs. Lopez? Mm-hmm. Was he, uh, yes. no, no relation, right? No relation. Mrs. Lopez, um, Sean. You know some of the the folks that have been there for many many decades. Uh, it's it's like another family, I think. Absolutely, is, is how folks without a feel doubt. About it, so. um, you know, uh, talking about education and Denison, uh, it might be chic in some organizations to say, well, we now have an education component. Mm-hmm. But education at Denison has been a priority for a long, long time. Yes, yeah. Well before Sean Hargraves was there, and mm-hmm. that's been a long time. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, but the, the, the educational thing is important. Oh, and absolutely. the homework room. I didn't know they called it exactly the right. homework room, but apparently. Maybe that's what my affectionate well name for it was. <laughs> but, yes, absolutely. It was very well attended. A lot of people would try to come in, and if they weren't behaving, they, wouldn't, they weren't allowed to stay. Mm-hmm. And I think that's when the kids that I grew up with, that the reason why I started going, would learn to change their behavior. It's like if you want to be here, you have to put in the, the respect that you're about to be given in this room. And I think a lot of my friends at the time really shaped up. And I, yeah. I, it's beautiful. And in, uh, in New Bedford, I think a, a lot of things that women struggle with, or maybe not struggle with, but are often led astray by, I don't want to say it too much, but a lot of times it's men in our age. We're, we're all crazy about boys. And Miss Debbie, um, who was in the homework room, she's like, you better not be chasing those bizoys. And I think that was one of the <laughs> most important thing is when you were in Miss Debbie's room, it wasn't, it wasn't, you're, you weren't flirting. Because again, I said I was there until I was 15. That was well into middle school. At the start of high school, it's when you're really starting to get into that. But in Miss Debbie's room, in the homework room, it was really a space where you were just you. It wasn't about trying to be something you weren't. It's about learning, doing your work, and helping others. Because as you grow, you start to know more than the people that you started with. When I was eight, of course, I didn't know much more than the kids that were there. But as I grew, I could actually help them. I'm like, this is what I was doing when I was here. Let me help you. And you could see that. That was a thing that I got when I was there there was older kids that were helping me with my homework Mm -hmm. and it was all it's always been that tradition for them to have that it's the older kids handed off to the younger kids as they grow and move through Denison it should be a great night at the founders uh, awards dinner November 10th at uh, Rachel's Lake Cider at the uh, Westport Dartmouth mine so how can folks get tickets how can folks support this event? So they can go to the uh, Denison website, which is denisoncommunity.org, or they can give Denison a call, and that number is 508-966-2691. Uh, tickets can be purchased online. If folks are not comfortable doing that, they can make the phone call, and we can arrange for tickets. Um, but very simple process online, and when you navigate to to the Denison website, it's right there front and center with a button for tickets and, and all of the details, the time and, and place and all of that. 
All right. Any closing thoughts about uh, about Denison? Danielle, we'll start with you. I think it's an absolutely great cause to come out, and it would be really beautiful to understand that, again, if you show up, it's attributing to everyone's greatness, everyone that's in that room, and that greatness is recognized, and be great for yourself and for your community. I'm going to get the recipe for that dirty whatever. Yes, <laughs> the, uh, the, the, the dirt pudding. I, dirt pudding, it's, yeah. It's great. We'll, we'll, we'll get that before you leave. Lisa, any thoughts about, uh, about sure. Denison? Sure, sure. Um, just that, you know, Denison, not every, Denison is, is known in the south end of New Bedford fairly well, um, maybe not as much throughout the rest of the community, and, and we just really want to raise the, the awareness about Denison through this, this dinner as well. Um, it's one of the great things happening in, in New Bedford, and we have a Fulbright Scholar um, coming out of Denison. I mean, we're, <laughs> we're laying full claim to Danielle, and, um, and uh, you know, it's a, it's a great place, and um, we just want people to know about it. Again, the Denison Founders Dinner, November 10th, 6 p.m. at Rachel's Lake Cider, the Dartmouth-Westport line, supporting 150 years of community service, Two young people at Denison Memorial Community Center. My guests have been board member Lisa Stratton and Daniel Lopez, an alum at Denison, a Fulbright scholar, and heading to Malaysia next year. And uh, you are a credit to the city, New Bedford High School. Yes. And Denison. Thank you. And yourself. Yeah, yes. And yourself, absolutely. <laughs> Thank you both. Thank you for having us. Town Square Sunday returns in just one moment.